everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Aaron Blaby's most recent book, Cat on the Run. This is episode one, Cat of Death, and it is the start of a new series. It does link in to the Bad Guy series. You will see lots of nods to that same series, so it exists in the same universe. And it was a lot of fun. This one I feel starts out leaning slightly older. This is definitely more middle fiction because there is a whole lot of commentary going on in the background here that older readers and adults will definitely pick up on. So I will read you the blurb. It says, what happens when the world's biggest cat video star gets accused of a crime she didn't commit? She becomes a cat on the run. That's what. But how do you avoid capture and prove your innocence when you are the most famous feline on the planet? Well, it ain't easy. Our main character in this book is Princess Beautiful. She's a viral cat video star and is quite demanding going along with that. She's very, very famous and makes all sorts of quirky cat videos. However, an unnamed entity has decided that she's the perfect foil and the perfect scapegoat for a plan that they have. This organization is represented by this scorpion and in her latest cat video, they unintentionally use her to start something of a terrorist plot. And all of this is captured on video. And so suddenly she goes from being the most famous and beloved cat star on the internet to being the number one most wanted. And she really doesn't know what to do with this. Many of her friends abandon her as soon as she is accused of doing something that she has no idea that she has even been involved in. And the one person who stands by her is Catrick, who is another very famous cat who is very well known for his humanitarian efforts and absolutely adores the ground that she walks on, even if she doesn't necessarily always appreciate that about him. This book has Aaron Blaby's signature humor and style. It is very fast paced. It is very much written in a graphic novel style with panels throughout the book. I did love the pops of red that also appear in the book. So it's mostly black and white, but every so often you get this little pop of red, which really stands out. There is a really big commentary in here about social media influences and how popularity can turn really quickly and how working in a social media space, you really don't have that much control over what people think of you if they suddenly decide that you are now not doing the things that they expect you to do. I'm very intrigued to see where this goes. It does end off on a cliffhanger. So we're left hanging quite literally on what is going to happen next, but I'm very, very intrigued. And I'm curious to see where it intersects with the bad guys. And if it goes further than just sort of the brief mentions and little sneak peeks that we've seen in this book. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about Cat on the Run down below. In the comments, I'd love to know if you've read this book or if you're planning on picking it up. It is definitely a book that will appeal to fans of the bad guys. But like I said, some maybe some of the themes may go above the head of younger readers, but they'll probably still just enjoy the humor and the action in the story. But yes, I'd love to know if you've read it. Otherwise, if you just want to let me know that you're here, but you don't leave a comment, feel free to leave a cat emoji down below. I hope that wherever you're in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.